Matter of fact, people are standing up all over, and it's not just at the congressional levels. I think that the last year or so has been a, a big awakening when it comes to engagement of folks, parents, especially, but Americans who are standing up and saying, wait a minute, one of them is here with us right now. Stephanie Boone joins us. Stephanie is one of the uh, concerned parents who's working uh, in the Forest Hills area. We talked a little bit about the recall that you guys had under, whether you're trying to work with the, with the school board there, but you have some updates. Yeah. Well, Stephanie, appreciate you being here with us today. Thank you. Yeah, glad to be here. Um, yeah, so I think last we left off, um, the Forest Hills Public Schools Board had appealed um, the petition language that we had filed. So we were put on hold for signature collecting. Um, and that doesn't mean we've been sitting idly by doing nothing. We have been working hard to attend school board meetings and have weekly town hall meetings to educate and inform um, the public so that they um, are ready when it comes time to sign those petitions. Um, so uh, as suspected, we never did get a hearing date on the appeal. Um, that was simply just a way to stall us out for the full 40 days. So that brings us to next week, November 18. Um, we've been waiting and we are ready to have our first signing event. Um, it will be at the Jam and Bean Coffee Company on Cascade Road in Grand Rapids. Um, so Thursday, November 18 from 5 to 8 p.m. Um, hopefully uh, lots of people will show up and we can pass out petitions as well so that we can have some circulators bringing those around. Um, because of the 40 day um, time frame that we had to wait, it does give us a short amount of time, about six weeks to try to get um, over 8,000 signatures. But we feel that we're up to the challenge and we will just keep on pressing on. Um, just, just to kind of remind yeah. folks, these concerned parents at Forest Hills in, in this district, what were some of the bigger, bigger issues for you guys? I, I know that, uh, uh, that some of the divisive things that the kids are being taught in schools mm -hmm. is one of the issues. Uh, I know there were some issues about funding and specifically with transportation. What, what were some of the main issues that you guys were facing? Um, so in the language of the petition, um, we talked about the lack of consistent transportation, which is an ongoing issue. Um, right after um, the petition was filed, um, you know, Forest Hills gave the impression that they're working hard to fix the busing issue, but in all reality, we're still having 13, 14, 15 on up bus routes canceled per week. So parents are just left floundering um, to find a ride for their kids to and from school. And it's a major pain. It's an ongoing issue. Um, so that's one of the concerns. We've had the transparency issue. Um, we still do not have live streaming of our board meetings. So parents that can't make it to the meetings in person are just forced to have to wait for the, the minutes to come out. That's, that's um, incredible to me. Yeah. And, and they've given you some wild excuses to why they can't do that, right? Yeah, I mean, it started out as we Forest Hills doesn't have the resources for that. So, well, well I'm, I, I'm, look, I, I got the resources to live stream here. You're on a right. live stream right now. Right. We're streaming to almost 600 yeah. people on this yeah. particular uh, Facebook and Twitter thing. This thing that I use is is, is very uh, cheap. It's inexpensive, and there are there are some free uh, programs yeah. out there too. They can yep. use, but they say they don't have the resources to do that. That's well, that's now since the recall has been filed, now they decided that they're hiring a um, communications director for the district. I'm not sure what that's going to cost our district. I did ask at the last board meeting and I did not get an answer on that. So, um, yeah, but we've got huge issues with, um, you know, the CRT lookalikes in the schools. So we've been digging into that. We've got um, safety concerns with the transgender restroom issues um, or lack thereof. We don't have a solid policy that's being followed in our district. So we've got kids floundering and confused and feeling unsafe uh, all across the board with that. Um, and we know what happened in Loudoun County in the schools there um, with the transgender restroom issue. So it's a huge concern. Um, lately, we've been really digging into the books um, in the schools and have found that, um, interestingly, all of the Kent ISD school districts are aligned um, using a Destiny online um, cataloging system through the Kent ISD. 
And it's a great tool you can use. Students can search books by title, author, subject, keyword, you name it, which is awesome. But what we've found with that is when you plug in certain keywords, what pops up can be very, very concerning. So we've found straight up pornography, um, wow. political activism, um, you know, sexual orientation, LGBTQ issues. S yeah. Stephanie, I, I don't have a lot of time left because we got a break here to hit the okay. news. But yeah. be before I get, I want you to, again, tell people where they can come out. They want to sign this. Yeah. Uh, you have a date and time and location. Yep. For yep. So it's next Thursday, November 18, from 5 to 8 p.m. It's at the Jam and Bean Coffee Company on Cascade Road, 6860 Cascade Road. There you go. And we'll put links up for that. And if you have a flyer or something, I can I can awesome. share that out to, to people as well. Again, what's the website for your uh, for your organization yep. as well? So we're at www.fhforjusteducation.org. fhforjusteducation.org. Stephanie Burke, Concerned Parent. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thanks, Justin. Take care. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Yep. Make it a great day. God bless.